<laughs> it's Steve and Laura time. Let's go. You scream. Well, I haven't heard such a cry of horror since. I showed you that picture of me and Speedo. Oh. Mm. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There you go, Laura. There you go, Laura. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Will you drive me to Cincinnati? My pleasure, baby cakes. Uh -huh. I'll go get dressed, and you go do something with that hair. <laughs> I love, I love how Steve is not is not afraid to tell Laura she looks rough. Go, I need you to go fix that. Oh, I love it. <laughs> and we'll rendezvous at the I set. The I set up? Uh-huh, the putt-putt. That's what I set up. <laughs> <laughs> the putt-putt, Laura. <laughs> the putt-putt, putt-putt. Steve and his putt-putt. This Steve and his putt-putt. <laughs> this Steve and his putt-putt. <laughs> this dude, casually, <laughs> is riding his bike. He's not even a speed racer. He don't have a helmet on. He don't have that done. It, he, he's just casually going by the camera. Steve's butt putt putt. Steve's putt putt. <laughs> oh, gosh. Steve is happy. <laughs> Steve, <laughs> could you drive a little faster, please? Uh huh. The putt putt. We're getting dirty looks from old people. <laughs> Wait a minute. Laura <laughs> said. Lewis said we're getting, we're getting, we're getting looks by old people. Man, do y'all, do y'all know how slow, <laughs> do you know how slow old people drive? I, I ride with my grandma all the time and she drives slow like us, like a slut. <laughs> they get mean mugged by the elderly. <laughs> okay. Woo. Oh boy, that got me. <laughs> Man, yeah, look though, they're getting mean bugged by the elderly. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ugh. Look at how slow they're going. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, I got <laughs> Lord, y you ain't. <laughs> Lord, when were you supposed to be there? <laughs> you may have been. You may have been. <laughs> you may get there sooner by not going. Just don't go, and you might get there sooner than this. <laughs> Stevie on his poker, though, look. Welcome <laughs> music until we get to Cincinnati, okay? All right, no hard poker music. I'm going to Cincinnati. Steve loves, he just loves being around Laura, even if she's in a bad he just he just loves being around her, you know. And Laura is just <laughs> Laura is just frustrated. <laughs> she woke up late, you know. what I'm saying Steve called her out on her hair, and now she's in this putt putt to where <laughs> she don't know <laughs> she don't know when she's gonna get. There. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, Steve. Uh huh. Ah, where is Steve? Where's Where's my rat? Oh, no, no, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Mm -hmm. Ram, I'm gonna take a train. Uh. I might take a train. Huh. But anyway, I go, I'm gonna get there just the same way. <laughs> I'm about to drive a little crazy. If you sing <laughs> one more note, I'm gonna turn your upper lip into a hat. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Steve's face, Steve. Steve, I think she means it, okay? You I think she means it. A little cranky, aren't we? Uh-huh. Might I suggest more fiber in your diet? <laughs> right, right. Right now. I'm gonna take a nap. Yeah, maybe, yeah, get some Z's, Laura. Get some Z's. <laughs> How small is that car? <laughs> this girl sleep on it. Look, he, look, look, it is so small. She sleep on the window. <laughs> this is the definition, poor Lord. This is the definition of window pain. <laughs> Would you like to rest that luscious noggin on our friendly show? Right, right, right. Uh huh. Invite it, Steve. Apparently Put it. Not. Apparently not. But see, that's that, that's what I'm saying. See, she could. You see how far away Lord is from Steve right now. But let's just remember an episode ago. 
You see her, her stancing on it. You know what I'm saying? She all the juices flowing and everything when Myra was there. And then she's like, this is what I mean. And this is where she catches a lot of you guys off guard. Because a lot of you guys will like, oh, see, she don't care about see. No, it's quite the opposite. It's the opposite. She's trying to not, you know what I'm saying? See, this is a situation, just like Steve said. She could easily just, you know, go to sleep and lay her head on his shoulder. Lo ain't trying to do that. She's not trying to do that. She, I told you she has a love, a deep love for Steve that she did not get permission to be there. Plain and simple. <laughs> Laura actually did fall asleep. Sleep, baby. I'm back from Mandy. Mm-hmm. How far away are we? I just saw her sign. Cincinnati, 50 miles. Oh, what are you doing? Yeah, we'll be there in two and a half hours. Mm. You still got two. You still got two hours to go. They still got Laura, you still got two <laughs> Laura, you still got two hours to go. What I would like to know is how long have they been driving? Where have they already been driving eight hours? <laughs> We think they've already been driving 10 hours. <laughs> Lori had a good little nap, though. I don't think it's going to help her move, though. Look, I have a headache, a crick in my neck. It's a small car, and you're in it. Uh -huh. Please speed up. <laughs> I'm doing the math tomorrow. I'm recruiting speed for this bit. Oh, anything would be risky. Lori is, so, <laughs> is so irritated. <sighs> Let's just take that risk. Oh, no. Let's just get there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Laura, Laura. Laura's like, I need, <laughs> got to be there, got to be there. She got to be there, man. She got to be there, man. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he said, Oh, Lord, please. Oh, baby, please, please. <laughs> Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. <laughs> Lord, you're in trouble, girl. Steve, how much do you love her now? She messed up your putt putt. She messed up your. I said a putt putt. How much do you love her now? <laughs> uh, yeah, look how you're looking at her. <laughs> look at her. <laughs> yeah, she did it. She did it. She did it, Steve. Did I do that? Yeah, you did. <laughs> oh, gosh. Right here, you know, it's just, like I said, with with Steve and Lowe, this is the essence of Steve and Lowe right now. You know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of you guys would take it as, oh, she's she's just being so mean to Steve and da-da-da. And she is. You know, he's the target. Um, But it really isn't even about Steve. You know, it's about Laura trying to keep her guard up. Because this is another setting where they can bond and get closer. And Laura does not want to do that. Because like I said before, the love that she has for Steve already right now don't have her permission to be there. <laughs> it, you know what I'm saying? It don't have her permission to be. It snuck up on her. You know what I'm saying? It snuck up on her. You know? And so she's kind of trying to make sure not only that her feelings don't continue to grow for Steve, but maybe that she can get them somehow to dissipate. So, so Laura does that sometimes and being kind of mean to him because maybe it'll kind of push him away. You know, but, it, but Laura don't realize it don't really matter. Look, Steve loves her. Like I said, they already, they're already putting marital vows to the test. You know, you know, uh, do the good and the bad. Steve going, Laura don't realize that. Steve going to be there through the good and the bad. And if Laura and Steve are in the same boat. Well, I guess they're in the same car, so to speak. But they're really in the same boat to where now Laura's getting to a place where she can't control her love for Steve. It's just growing and she can't control it. Same thing with Steve. But the, but the, the situation that you see is they respond to it differently. That's all it is. They just respond to it differently. It doesn't right now because, you know, it, it, it's, it's, Steve got too much snuggle for Laura right now, you know, but they're feeling the same things. Laura, I think Steve's is a little bit more intense, of course, because he's, you know, he's been ready since six. You're like, where you at? Where you at with your ponytails? Where you at, Laura? You know, and Laura's gradually getting there. You know, another thing I want to point out too that I think is so beautiful is again, this is an instance where God is preparing them for marriage. God is preparing Steve, you know what I'm saying, for becoming a husband. What does Steve just not say anything? And, and even the Bible says, even a fool is counted wise when he holds his peace. When he shuts his lips, he is considered perceptive. That's somewhere in Proverbs, you know. And so Steve is, you know, he's staying quiet. He's being patient. And those are things that he's going to need. We know, um, you know, after, you know, the marriage and then the wedding night and probably a couple nights after that, you know what I'm saying? 
after that, reality is going to set in and Steve is going to need patience. So this is what's so beautiful about doing things God's way is he builds you up for what he has for you. A lot of times we try to jump in and God's like, you're not ready. You, you, and that's what Steve was right now, but he's not ready. But God's equipping him right now. He's having to have patience. You see he with Steve. Steve, he looked at it like he was crazy. He didn't raise his voice. You know what I'm saying? He didn't talk down to her, you know, or anything like that. He was he, he was patient, you know, and that's those are key things that you need when you go to that next level of life. You know what I'm saying? When you're doing life with somebody. So, yeah, anyway, man, love God, love people. May God bless you. May God keep you.